Hey guys, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to MBBS Treasure Channel. Today we are going to start a topic about path morphology. And in this lecture, I am going to say about the introduction and basic things about the path morphology. What kind of study it is, like what is the subject it is all about, then what are the tasks, means what we need to study under path morphology, then finally what are the methods of investigation that are followed in the path morphology. Okay, so what is pathomorphology? Pathomorphology means it is a scientific study that deals with the structural foundation of diseases at different levels of living organisms. There comes the three important terms that first one is the structural foundation. This one is the first structural foundation. Then the second one is the diseases. Then third one is at different levels of living things or living organisms. So different level of living organisms means first the organism, then the systemic, then organ, then tissue, then cells, then subcellular and then finally the molecular level of organization in the living organisms. If this organization will be affected by a certain kind of diseases and there will be change in the structure, uh, means structural foundation or ultra structure of the organization, then uh, that type of study will be called as pathomorphology. The pathomorphology deals with certain kind of terms like etiology, then pathogenesis, then morphogenesis, then xenogenesis, then thanatogenesis. These are the terms that are important because we are going to deal with these terms uh, while we are going to read any kind of diseases that are affecting the structure of a cell. What is etiology? Etiology means what are the causes of diseases, why the diseases occur and what are the changes that making. Pathogenesis means, genesis means the mechanism of development of the diseases. Patho means disease and morphology means structure. Similarly, patho means disease and genesis means mechanism of development of a disease. Like that morphogenesis, mechanism of development along with structural changes in the level of organization. Then cyanogenesis means if the pathological process of this development of diseases occurs from the period of pre-disease till the end of recovery of that disease, that period of study is known as cyanogenesis. Then comes thanatogenesis. What do I mean by thanatogenesis? If the diseases occur, then if the diseases uh, heading towards recovery, then the study of cause of disappearance of disease, why the disease has disappeared, about that thing, it is known as thanatogenesis. If the diseases are occurring, then what is the cause or what, how it may arise, the changeability of disease. The disease may occur due to two kinds of things, first one is it may be natural, then the second one is induced or therapeutic. What do you mean by natural? Natural means if you are uh, having a certain kind of lifestyle and if there will be a change uh, or drastic change to your lifestyle that may change or that may create a problem in your different level of organization and that will create a disease. Then induced or therapeutic. Induced or therapeutic means if you are taking certain kind of medicines or if, it, if the doctor prescribes you certain kind of medicines and you are taking that also may give some side effects or uh, it may also show some effects towards your cellular or some cellular level of organization and that will create a certain kind of disease. Induced means by taking medicines or drugs or another term here comes is that iatrogenic. What do you mean by iatrogenic? If, if the doctor prescribes or if the doctors diagnose, treat and about uh, give the drugs about the uh, disease and the thing related with doctor's work and it will be causing with the disease then it will be called as atrogen. So next comes here is what are the task of pathomorphology. Task means what are the kinds of study that we are going to read under the pathomorphology. It is a study about the cell pathology. What are the changes occur during the disease condition of a cell that we are going to study? Then what are the, what is a general pathologic process? 
what are the pathologic process that occurs during the diseases we are going to study under this then to study the recovery complications and consequences of the diseased cell then about the adaptation and compensation what the cell have uh, what the cell adapts during the disease condition and what it compensates uh, are the different types of compensation of metabolism processes of the cells uh, in response towards the diseases uh, we are going to study then the next one is to study the pathology of therapy what are the kinds of treatments we are giving and what is the response of the cell towards the treatment and what is the pathology of that treatment or therapy of that diseased cell then next is the to study the post mortem examination service organization we know this pathomorphology also helps in study of the post mortem or the curves or dead bodies and it also helps the physician to understand the basic problems or causes of a certain kind of disease then what are the methods of investigation in pathomorphology while we are going to study the pathomorphology thing uh, it needs certain kind of investigation or procedures uh, for different kind of uh, bodies or different kind of level of cells and tissues like first one is the post humus disease then second one is lifetime disease then third one is what is the associated methods that comes under the methods of investigation first is post humus means the disease that will be occurring after death and the examination of corpse or dead body that we are going to read in a after this okay then second one is lifetime disease means disease occurring during life what are the types of disease occurring during life or how the disease is affecting the cell we will study by two that is two processes that is first one is through microscopic like microscopic means the, they have the biopsy cytology we will study about the cell biopsy means the living or uh, living tissue or living cells we will study about the structural changes during the diseases then the second one is medical experiments medical experiments the live ex example of the medical experiment is uh, currently going on that is covid vaccine you can say uh, the vaccines are being applied on different kinds of animals for knowing the uh, different uh, changes that are occurring in the cells of those animals then what are the accessory methods accessory methods means living these things what are the other kind of tests or investigation processes that are offered like biological chemical and physical biological means then if the bacteria will be affecting or virus or if it will be affecting to the blood okay and then tissue culture serology these are the types of tests then then in chemical histochemical immunochemical atomic absorptivity we will know the chemistry or biochemistry changes in the cell uh, in during the disease condition then physical physical means we will be studying about through the uh, radiography ultrasonic diagnosis so these are the three kinds of other accessory methods that helps us to investigate the cell during the patho or disease condition okay so next we are going to read about the investigation methods that are applied that are applied on a general corpse or a dead body so first there will be physical or external examination of the dead body then we will dissect the dead body we will see what is the cause of the death and then the autopsy then biopsy and experiments will be done on the corpse uh physical examination or external examination when we will first see the corpse or uh, first we will we will see the dead body then we will see certain kind of change in the color of the skin like if it will be yellow then we can predict that the death may be caused due to the jaundice or if it will be cyanotic or blue in color then the death may be caused due to the heart failure and then the if it will be a pale in color then due to bleeding so by this way we can externally examine the dead body or the corpse then after dissection the cutting and investigation procedures takes place we will cut and die. we will cut the dead body and we'll see what is the cause or we will look after the organ 
then comes the autopsy autopsy means Auto means yourself and opsis means sight or vision. It is a macroscopic level of investigation in which you will directly inspect and analyze the organ by seeing your uh, by seeing by yourself the organ itself. And then biopsy. Bio means the living cells or tissue and opsis the same here means vision. But here it will be microscopic level of examination. Through this, we can understand the morphological changes that occurred uh, or maybe the cause of the death of the tissue and cellular by taking the tissue and cellular material. Okay, the, uh, this will help in treatment and diagnosis or scientific study in future uh, through the cause. Biopsy is also related to living organisms because uh, the living tissue or cell is taken uh, for histological studies uh, so that we can understand the cause or what is the uh, pathological condition of a cell or tissue. Then what is the experiment? Experiment it is performed to reveal distinctive features of the diseases which we cannot perform on humans. If we, will, if we are not able to perform on humans, uh, then we will experiment on the curves or dead body so that we can see the changes of the living organisms with respect to the experiment that we have doing or that we have done. There is the importance of autopsy. That autopsy, that macroscopic level of examination that we have done on the curves, it helps us to learn or determine the cause of the death. Then secondly, the checking the accuracy of clinical diagnosis. If the diagnosis of that uh, cause or dead body has done, we should check or cross check the things that if the death has occurred due to this reason or that reason. And we could easily distinctly view by ourselves that yes, if the death has occurred due to this, then this will be the result. Like if jaundice, then uh, the color of skin will be yellow. If cyanotic, the or blue color of the skin then the disease would be due to heart failure then research for cause and mechanism of disease the autopsy will help in future for research work and the development or mechanism of diseases we will read and know about the mechanisms of diseases so this was all about today's class we learned about the introduction and basics of pathomorphology and in the next class i will be telling about the cell injury and what is reversible irreversible types of cell injury and if there will be intracellular depositions of proteins lipids and fats uh, what will be occurring in the cells or what will be the pathological changes or inside a cell so thank you for watching my video and if you like this video please uh, share it okay thank you